You feeling grizzly? Then let's get into the grotto. Map 4 of Quake. And this one is particularly difficult to shotgun start, it would seem. It has an a, a alarming lack of ammo and extra guns in it. So what you're going to see me do is be pretty careful trying to let enemies in fight as much as possible. And apparently I can't look down. What's going on there? Keyboard look. No, no, no. Look. Yeah, what the hell? My customized controls weren't enabled for some reason. Okay, so is he hitting his friend? Yes. I wonder why it lost my configuration like that. Hopefully there's nothing else that I configured that I'm forgetting about. Anyway, anyway. So, on this map. I'll be using the single barrel shotgun a lot. And I also have played it a few times, unfortunately. Not because I'm, like, dying or not being able to get through it. Although it's tough. It's more to do with the fact that there's a glitch in this map. Which means that not every enemy teleports in every single time. So, I've had to go and look up on the Quake Wiki what the hell was going on with that. And now I know exactly what to do. To make sure that I can always consistently get 100% kills. And actually, no, I don't want to fight this guy yet anyway I want to keep the shells also when you're in the water you can't center your view which is a little bit funny to me the reason I want the shells is to snipe this guy now and the enemy that doesn't teleport in well I'm about to explain and show exactly what's going on with that pretty much right now oh and by the way of course the other gun that you do get in this map for most of it is this which is very handy, the super nail gun rocks, it's your first introduction to it in Quake. But it uses a lot of ammo, so on a map that's pretty scarce ammo-wise, the one other gun you do get, choose through your ammo. So the glitch is you have to come here and kill those two fiends now, or kind of now-ish, before going and doing other bits. Because if you remember this map, and I'll show you when we get there, there's a moment where like an ogre comes out of like a trap where he like rises out of like a little watery pit. And if you haven't killed those fiends before the ogre rises out of the watery pit, it will stop another ogre from being released from like a hidden room. And then therefore you can't kill that ogre and you won't ever get 100% kills on this map. So that's why I've done this in that order, but also it's actually a pretty good order to do the mapping just generally speaking I'd say. When your shotgun's starting it, that is. Because having, like, guarantees of enough nails and health to take out those fiends is pretty cool. Okay, why is this guy not showing himself? Now, there's a box of nails in the water here. Very necessary, given this map. And then the ogre from the trap that I'm talking about is here. If you do that before taking out those fiends, well, then there's one ogre who will never appear... And I'll point out which ogre that is when we get there. So there was a couple of times where I got to the very end and only had 58 out of 59 kills. And I was like, why? What the hell's going on? I had to look it up. I don't know as much about how Quake's, you know, like trigger behavior works as opposed to in Doom with like line depths and so on. I assume it's a bit more complicated in Quake. And there's a bit more nuance to it. Uh, but unfortunately here it wasn't set exactly correctly and there's a glitch. Okay, I have been wasting a few shells, but that's alright. Because you want to use the nail gun for this bit in my opinion. The enemies that teleport in are pretty weak, scrags and knights. But there's a few of them. So it's best to just try and like kill them ASAP in my opinion. And you know what kills them ASAP? The super nail gun. But we'll swap back to the shotgun now. So yeah, super nail gun rules, great weapon, and when you're not shotgun starting it, it just adds to your arsenal that you would have brought with you from previous maps. 
making this all a breeze. But yeah, shotgun starting these maps is much harder than I anticipated, and then not shotgun starting them. Because it's just a lot more evil in terms of like how little ammo and guns they give you compared to the amount of enemies that there are. And you know, like I'm forced to use the single barrel shotgun in a lot more situations than you ever would otherwise. And something I've been learning while keyboard are controlling this is that it's a lot better to just let auto-aim do its job than to be looking up and down constantly and trying to aim yourself. This is the ogre that I'm talking about. He won't appear unless you do things in the order that I just showed. Yeah, grenade to the face, exactly what I was trying to avoid by having the nail gun out. Now there's an ogre just down here who it's extraordinarily easy to cheese because his grenades just bounce off the stairs. Actually, I'm going to try and release these ogres early and see if they can't hit the scrags for me. Go on, hit each other. Save me some ammo. So I definitely want to take these ogres out now. Because the progression in this map, in my opinion, to get through it, given how little ammo there actually is, is to kill these ogres and prioritize going to the secret area that you open by pressing the buttons where they are. Oh, his grenades fell into that toxic slime there, that's pretty annoying. Okay, is there health that I've left out here? No, that's alright. This will do. Now I'm gonna... Actually, I've got enough nails, I think. I was gonna say I was gonna try and encourage these guys to hit each other, but I've probably got enough nails. Now up here are a bunch of knights who I will just use the nail gun on. Okay, I've run out of house. See what I mean about the super nail gun? It looked like I had plenty, right? Not quite. Alright, I'm gonna axe one. Uh, now which side is it that actually gives you stuff? I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Well, not this side, but that's alright. So these are the switches that I was talking about. You've got to press both of them, and it's actually a secret. And I want to do it now and go to this secret cave which is opened right now and the reason why is well like I've been explaining the ammo situation in this map if you're not shotgun starting then I'm not really sure what this is all about because you should already have a grenade launcher by now and if you're shotgun starting and you take it into the secret exit which is what that is um, well then I'm just gonna lose it immediately but if I come and get it now then I can use it in this in this map which has bugger all ammo so, I'm definitely going to do that. I just have to be careful not to grenade myself in the face too much. You know, the grenade launcher is probably not the ideal weapon to be using in some of these sections. But it sure as hell works on that fiend. Now, up here is a knight, I believe. And some ogres, yeah. I think I just hit the knight dead on with a grenade, so he's dead. Yo! Oh, no, I didn't. But what did I say about grenades to the face? Oh, and this door is actually open. Okay, there's definitely more ogres though. There's at least one. And he's over there. Fortunately, as I've said before, the splash, well, the area of effect, like the splash damage of grenades in Quake, is pretty small. So I'm getting away with all of this. Now. There is a little ambush here of scrags. But when you know it's coming, you can just quickly grenade one of them. And now I just need to be real careful with these final enemies. There is ogres up there, and he can shoot a grenade down these stairs and mess you up if you're not careful. Well, I should not have advanced at him. What was I just saying? Look at this grenade battle of the century. Screw you. Okay, cool. And that should be all kills and secrets. Perfect. And, well, I don't know why I'm coming up here. This is the normal exit, which I do not want to take. But I'll just show it that it's there. Now we want to go back to the secret cave and actually use the secret exit. So, yeah, strange little glitch. You have to do it in that order. 
but it's a pretty good way to do it anyway, and here we go. And uh, something I'm just going to say right now, unfortunately that whole my screen going red problem isn't completely fixed. It happens way, way less often, but not completely, so I'll definitely be doing each map one at a time, just to try and avoid it happening on me. If I do it all as like one long continuous thing, it may happen and I'll lose the footage. So even though I might do a video with, you know, two or three maps in it at once, it'll be, you know, map at a time to splice together with editing afterwards. Don't know what's going on, but it definitely is better than it was before. Ziggurat Vertigo. The secret map. And the one with one-eighth of the usual gravity. Which is actually a really cool gimmick for, like, among the first 3D games ever. But this map has got me completely questioning... Damn, that's really bad. That's got me completely questioning whether shotgun starting Quake is even a... Th and getting 100% kills and secrets is even, like, a thing. I mean, it's definitely not much of a thing I've come to learn. Because I've, you know, googled it now and I don't find that many results for it. Definitely it's like been a thing before to like record demos, but it's certainly nowhere near as popular as Doom and I think the reasons for that are pretty obvious when you actually start trying to do it. The game just simply does not seem like it was designed for it. Okay, now on this map you do get one other cool gimmick. The most OP rocket launcher in any first person shooter ever pretty much. which we need to use to kill these guys, it would seem. And now I have no ammo, so I'm going to have to go and get... Oh, I have rockets now, but still, I need to come down and get all the extra ammo here. And yeah, the game just simply doesn't seem to have been designed with shotguns starting in mind, because they give you hardly any other extra ammo or weapons. Like, yeah, in these, like introductory maps you get given a new gun every time just to sort of show them off like it was the super nail gun before now it's the rocket launcher but then not like say another nail gun or another super shotgun and not getting another nail gun is incredibly painful in this map because there are so many nails around the place um which also really makes me think they just expected you to continuously play and so yeah I googled it and I could barely even find any videos of shotgun starting let alone shotgun starting on nightmare getting 100% kills and secrets so I think what I'm doing right now is actually incredibly rare and not really something that even quake diehards do so I'm thinking what I'll try and do is see out episode one like this but then if I do go on to play episodes two and three and so on I'm just going to continuously play like everybody else does, because this is bloody brutal. Oh no, I really wanted that backpack. In fact, I kind of need it, so I'm going to have to go back up. That's how, like, brutal this map is for ammo. Like, I really want that backpack to get those extra two rockets. The cool thing about this uh, gravity, though, the lack of it, as you can see, is that ogres just shoot straight over the top of your head. Well, there's a backpack here as well. So after I pick up this other backpack, I will have 17 rockets. And it's got me... What the... There is no backpack here. What the hell? What the hell was I seeing? Was the crispiness just doing in my eyes? So I think I want to try and take out as much of this area as possible with the shotgun. You have quite a few shells. Well, okay, that guy can see me, and yeah, obviously, hello, gambler. I don't know if 48 shells is enough. Okay, cool. He is managing to hurt someone else, I think, so I'm going to allow that because I really need it. I'm just going to take him out now. He will have damaged it somewhat. Oh, cool. He had annoyed the Shambler. And probably hit it with a few grenades. 
if you position yourself just right, usually you can cheese the shambler because he can't quite shoot at you. Let's just go quickly try the other side. It's hard to go in the ziggurat without grabbing... Oh, you can't go in the other side. It's hard to go in the ziggurat without grabbing the pentagram, and I need that to get the first secret. Okay, this is kind of working. And I peekaboo the shambler with the single barrel shotgun, 27 shells. Okay, but it has to be one shot at a time. If I'm being honest with myself. See, I tried to hang around for one more shot. Couldn't even get it off before he zapped me. And you might be wondering, why am I doing this rather than going and getting the secret now? Because there are two more shamblers and even harder to attack place. Okay, there is actually a lot more health, like even just above me, so I should definitely just grab it before I die. And if I can take out this shambler without the secret and then go use the secret on the other two shamblers, that would be mondo cool. Please die. I'm just praying that, like, the grenades the ogre hit him with softened him up enough. Right, I'm going to have to use rockets, but see, the thing is, that's sketchy because they travel so slowly. Yes, he died. Okay. Okay. Let's go look for health. Actually, you get health in the secret, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to clear even more of that area out. Yes, there's health over there. Oh no. Oh no. There's health up there as well. That's what I'm thinking of. The health that's like up here. I know this is a bit slow and tedious, but this might be, like I say, a pretty rare run if I manage to pull it off. Nightmare Quake E1M8 with 100% kills and secrets. Shotgun start. It's the part that I need to keep emphasizing to myself and everybody. It's rare to do it shotgun start. Alright, so with the Shambler dead, things are probably a lot calmer in here. Okay, that guy I don't really have the ability to take out right now. Okay, I do have some shells, and they're the best for the Scrag. Ooh, there's a guy there. Am I getting hit by grenades? No. Die, please. Should have saved him for these guys. Okay. Well, that's horrible aim. No crosshair and keyboard. Okay, he's dead. Oh yeah, because he got damaged by grenades earlier, which is cool. Okay. Pretty much everyone except the Scrag is dead, which is excellent. And now it should be time to go pretty much and get that uh, quad damage and pentagram, actually. What is that? Just nails and another pentagram? Yeah, no, it's time. And then we need to just sprint up the lift here and try and take out those other two shamblers with the quad and the pentagram and hope that 15 rockets is enough. So what am I talking about? Well, you grab this. Swim through the lava over here. And we get a quad as well. And then I think I want to take the lift on the left hand side. And these two shambles. But protect. Okay, yes. Managed to get him. Oh. The pentagram was not on, but fortunately the quad was. Guess that actually went quite well. It's like exactly what I hoped to have happen. Oh, and there's armor over there. I am grabbing that. And who is that firing at me? Another guy here. I have shells, though. Actually, he's far enough away that I can use rockets.
on the, the scrag. Oop. Just die, would you? Ooh, and there's another pentagram here, but I don't want it just yet. There are better times for that. In fact, while I'm here, it's not actually a secret, but it's bloody handy. And let's ride this lift up. Okay. And because of the gravity, he will just fire his grenade straight over the top of me. Perfect. And now I just need to really make sure that I grab every backpack I can. Any other backpacks? No? Okay. So... Every ogre I kill with the rocket launcher, I get my ammo back straight away from them, pretty much. Because they drop a backpack with the two rockets. Okay, it's just health. I would much prefer ammo, but that's okay. So this is booby-trapped, of course. With scrags, but I do have plenty of shells. God damn it, auto aim. I can't afford to be wasting this many shells. Three more enemies. And I have ten rockets, so. I might be okay. This might be happening. The final secret is right near the exit. And if they're all ogres, then yeah, I should be fine because they'll, of course, replenish. Yes, I've done it. Unbelievable. So, yeah, look, I apologize for the slow and tediousness of this. Where is it? Here, it's in a little depression. It's the other secret. But there we go. That is Cigarette Vertigo. Shotgun start. Nightmare. Keyboard controls only. 100% uh, kills and secrets. Bloody difficult. Uh, required very careful planning, but hey, it's possible. I will continue episode one doing a shotgun start, but man, this may be quite the challenge. Um, I don't think Quake is meant to be played this way, so as I say, if I go on to do episodes 2 and 3, I'm probably just going to do it continuous. If it's not really a thing, then why torture myself? Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace.